Hello everyone, I'm going to show you an update I made to this stat system. It's something a lot of people requested, so I thought it would be a good thing to spend some extra time before 1.0.3 and get that in. So it's an update to the stat module. If you're familiar with the stat module, until now we could only have one kind of function um, per stat. So for example, if you had a stat uh, like strength, it could only do, for example, increasing your physical damage. It couldn't really do like, for example, plus one physical damage, plus uh, 0.2 um, armor penetration and things like that. It was one function per stat. So this is what I changed and uh, you can see it here. So now instead of uh, choosing the functions and all the settings for the stats right here, we now can add as many as we want and I call them stat bonuses. So um, here, for example, we have the same thing that we had here before, but now it's per bonus. So um, yeah, each bonus have its own type and on top of this, it has its own value. So I'm going to explain a bit how this works. Let's say that we wanted to um, create a stat you know like strength let's keep something simple and um all of this doesn't matter for the ui extra for this video and um, we're also going to keep all of this default for now now if we wanted this stat as uh, this strength stat to increase physical damage we would have to um set the base damage type here and here we would have to add the function physical damage here now if i for example remove this and save and go in game and uh, let's say my character now has 10 strength it's going to add 10 damage to um, any ability which has an effect of type physical damage now if i wanted to uh, make it for example only 0 0.5 per point of strength now it would add only 5 damage if we had 10 strength right so this gives you a lot of freedom on how your stats are actually uh, affecting your character stats now, if we wanted this uh, strength stat to also increase, I don't know, lifesteal, for example, we could also have it giving 5% lifesteal per point. I mean, that's totally possible now. And that's the beauty of this update, right? That's why it's so useful. And that's why um, it was requested by a lot of users, because that's something very, very common in most RPGs out there. Now, I'm not going to go too much in detail about the rest. There is going to be documentation about that, and it's kind of the same for each stat. The way you create your stat is still the same. So if you wanted to create a damage stat, it would be like this. Then you, would, you could create a, um, a resistance one, of course, um, and then it would be the same, you know. But um, something I want to show you is that now vitality, so stats such as health, mana, uh, rage, whatever, whatever you want to create are not as a stat type anymore. I removed it, but now there is a um, toggle here. And if you check is vitality, it's going to remove the stat bonuses because they have no functions such as um, those other stats. They are purely here to be resources, right? Um, but if you do enable that, you see that we can now have it to shift so we can go up and down. And also, um, instead of stat bonuses, we have vitality actions, which is also a new feature from uh, 1.0.3 that we'll be able to play with in a few days. So yeah, that's pretty much all. Uh, this was already explained in another video of vitality actions. Uh, you can just look on the channel. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to keep this video very short. I hope you like it. Uh, let me know and uh, see you in the next one.